Welcome everybody to another episode in the how-to series for TELUS Business Connect. Um, today we're going to talk about ringing a reception phone and then no answer going to an auto attendant. This is a, a question I get a lot and I'd like to uh, clarify that uh, yeah we can do it and uh, this is how it's done. Okay, we're going to go through a couple of steps here. Step one, um, we're going to set up the IVR and make sure that, that menu is already in place. Step two, uh, set up the reception position, things like record the name, set up the call handling, and set up the messaging function uh, so it goes to the right location. Step three, set up that advanced rule to make sure the main number is routed correctly. Define the name, the conditions, and the call handling, where it's going to go. Uh, obviously, point it to uh, position um, of the reception, which is step number two above. And finally, test it. Um, call the main number, reception rings, no answer, goes to the auto attendant. And that should do it. Okay, let's get uh, let's get to the demo. All right, thanks. Okay, well, let's take a look at the demo now. For the first step, of course, we're going to do the uh, the IVR uh, and have make sure that that IVR menu is in place. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to uh, we're going to make the assumption that the, that the RVR is already built, and uh, in this case, it already is. Uh, that is in another menu um, that you'll see in on the YouTube channel uh, for uh, for multi-level IVR. So we're going to make that assumption that it's already in place. Um, so we'll bypass that step. So the first thing you have to do is jump into the user settings for the receptionists um, uh, themselves and uh, we're going to use Ellen Ripley as our receptionist. I've already given her a name um, and uh, just tagged her with the word receptionist just to make it easy to uh, to follow along and we're going to edit the record username. Uh, typically what is uh, what is in a setting in here is a recorded name and uh, we're going to set that either to record the name and record it as uh, as the business name that we're going to use or we're going to to set up a text-to-speech uh, demo and main reception for this particular uh, option. So we're going to set the main reception. And once that's set and saved, um, the next thing is to look at call handling for her particular position and make sure that we've got the right devices set up to ring. Um, I've got them set to uh, simultaneous ring, uh, the desktop application and uh, the, the T46S uh, physical handset and ringing for 20 seconds. You can set it for whatever timing you want and have whatever extra phones you've got um, to, uh, to, to handle that inbound call. Once that's saved, um, then just hit the save button and I will set that for 20 seconds. Actually, we'll set it for 15 to make it nice and short. Save. There we go. And now that that uh, is, is set up, uh, we'll go down to the messaging for her mailbox. And this is particular to this mailbox. Um, by default, uh, messaging, voicemail messaging is turned on. So we're going to turn that off and then select connect directly to a group and then select the group. The group in this case, um, you'll see that I've already got it set up, um, is the top level day greeting. And we'll select that greeting and hit done and then hit save. Okay, so that's now saved as, uh, as the top level day greeting for, uh, for inbound calls. Now the option uh, to, to get that call into that particular uh, location, uh, we're gonna take the main phone number of this organization happens to be the 705-315-0573 number and uh, of course that's all handled by auto receptionist so back into auto receptionist programming and back into the IVR settings and we're going to go down to the uh, custom rules and uh, I've already built a custom rule in here so let's take a look at that, uh, that, that custom rule and I'll just edit it so it walks through the same things. Give it a name um, so he can identify it. I gave it uh, main number route to extension 7, uh, 735. And then define the condition. The condition is base this on, uh, on called number. So the called number, when this number is dialed, and on the date and time, follow business hours. Okay, so during business hours, it's going to uh, respond to this number that's been dialed. And what are we going to do to it, which is defining call handling? Select the extension where it's going to go, which happens to be uh, Ellen Ripley, reception extension 735. And that's just a matter of hitting select extension, finding her extension. And I can just put her in here. And there she is. Select that extension and hit done and then save that. So now that that condition, the advanced rule is set up, uh, which points back to step two, uh, we'll close this menu 
and now it uh, uh, just a matter of, of testing that uh, that configuration and we're going to go back to the uh, uh, the regular set telephone here and, and and have a test so let's hang on a second okay we're going to make a quick phone call and test this configuration so we're going to dial the main number of our organization thank you for calling demo main reception and of course it rings the reception phone now we're, we are going to purposely let this ring no answer to see where it goes and when our timer expires thank you for calling the Telus Business Connect demo if you know your party's extension number please dial it at any time for the directory, press no. And there's our auto attendant. So uh, we did get auto receptionist on the no answer condition, and uh, that test is successful. Um, that concludes this uh, demonstration. Please stay tuned for more videos, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notifications of new videos. And we'll be back with another video soon.